I guess I can, like, I'm not gonna, I won't dox the guy or anything like this. I'll do this carefully. I want you to see how I am, I want you to see how I am mending fences. All right. Take me off your mailing list, you fat. See you next Tuesday. Now, that is not a nice thing. That is, nobody said, like, why would you say that? This is a mailing list that you signed up for. That's the whole point. Like, we're trying to market to you. You have, by signing up for the mailing list, you have volunteered to receive marketing from all Caps Comics. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to receive. Now, hold on. I'm going to show you this. This is how this kind of misunderstanding happens. Some people wonder and they go, well, Ethan, what can you do about it? You know, like, how do you, you know, you've got a situation here where you've got a disgruntled customer. How can you fix it? I'm going to show you what I did in response, okay? Uh, <clears throat> let me see. All right, now I can, I'm trying to hide his name. So I don't want to get him in any trouble. I don't want him to have problems. Take yourself off, you googly-eyed dork is how I responded to him, which is not professional at all, okay? Uh, so uh, not good, not a good response, not a professional response from me. But uh, again, uh, you know, hold on a second here. You know, what am I supposed to do? He responds by saying, I'm just going to have to read this, okay? Uh, you're going to have to take my word that this is what it says. I don't want to show his name. Uh, I don't want any of this. <laughs> I accidentally showed his first name. <laughs> All right, so uh, he says, eat my entire ass, you entitled prick. I said to him, something is wrong with you. Press the unsubscribe button and stop being an ass wipe. He says, uh, or you could stop being a retard. I'd call you or text you, but I wouldn't want you to get bent all out of shape and have to cry about it. I'm not so much irritated that you canceled my pledges. Now I'm like, wait a second, me and this guy have history. I'm more irritated that you couldn't take some silly ribbing, especially witnessing the amount of trash you throw at others. How many trash casts have you made and you're saying something is wrong with me? And I said, I don't remember you or what you're referring to. You're only the person who sends abusive messages and re you're the only person who sends <laughs> abusive messages and reply to these marketing messages. It's weird. If you don't want to receive these messages, unsubscribe or, or you will continue to get them. It's simple. He says, if I'm the only one, at least I'm original. Uh, all right. Now, he shows a message of me talking to him. And apparently, uh, what was uh, what our problem was, was uh, a while back, uh, Matt Barr, <clears throat> Matt Barr called me to complain about mint salad while I was at breakfast with Andrea. And I got very upset about that. I said, I don't like that. You don't bring your internet uh, nonsense to my real world. I'm on the computer like 80% of the day. How come the 20% of the day that I'm either sleeping or I'm taking my wife to breakfast, I get a phone call and it's about mint salad and you're crying about an autistic girl uh, being mean to you on the internet. Why? And I got very upset about this. Now, this individual said, why don't you get over it? Your telephone is just one more means of communication. How's he supposed to speak to you? So uh, I was annoyed by this. Uh, very annoyed by this. Now, <clears throat> uh, I said, oh, yeah, I remember you now. Hey, man, quote, hey, man, it's okay for Matt Barr to call you up and complain about an Internet beef he's having with an autistic girl that doesn't involve you. I said, there's definitely something wrong with you. And this is where we start to make progress. And I want you to notice, like, first of all, what a hero I am here. Every now and then, you got to just take a step back and be understanding about the other person who might be hurting inside. He says, That's, that wasn't what I was teasing you about. I was poking fun at the fact that you got so bent out of shape that he texted or called you, like a righteous indignation about it. It's so incredibly easy to send him a voicemail or leave him on read. It's like an old man yelling at the clouds, but you, for some reason, took it some other way. Now, I could have completely lost my shit at this and been like, I don't want, that. I don't care how easy it is to allow him to call me. I don't want him to call me. Uh, but instead, I did this to him, okay? Uh, I am, uh, I said, oh, you were only joking? I thought you were being serious. And he says, I was not being serious at all. I just found it funny. You went to 11 about getting called and texted about that drama. 
I was completely floored that you responded to me the way that you did. I get your side completely. Barr was out of line trying to get you into that trash that doesn't concern you. And here's what I said again. I get it, Chris. Well, oh, I said his name. Oh, we already know his name is Chris. All right, that's okay. We've already revealed that. Well, I don't like having my space invaded outside of the internet. God knows I'm on the internet enough that people can hit me up with whatever garbage they need to then. I was pissed that he interrupted my breakfast with my wife and mad at you for acting like that was no big deal. Uh, and then he said, uh, look at this, I fixed it. Hold on a second, I might have to show you, I might have to show you the end result of this. Let me see if I can. I'm so proud of myself for being like a peacemaker like Jesus Christ is. So after that, this is what he sent back to me. That wasn't my intention at all. And I apologize if I came off that way. Could we call a truce? Did you ever get my shambling mound mini I sent you? No, Lunga, I didn't. Uh, but listen, <clears throat> I appreciate that you sent it. That is incredible. Isn't that, isn't that wonderful? Keith Dotson says, I almost shed a tear. Yeah, like I could have gone, I should, I could have gotten angry at him again. Like you missed the point, like leave me alone. Like I don't want it. But instead, instead, uh, I reached out to him. You know, I understood that like, you know, uh, maybe there's a common ground that we could find together here. If I just listen to you and you listen to me. And that's what happened, guys. That is the magic of communication. And sure, I mean, there's some autism involved. You got to just see through that. 